What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Behind me, as you can see, we have three very sexy cars. Our WX, the brand new 2023 Type R, and our Elantra N. We don't get a lot of chance to get, you know, I mean, we can get our WX Elantra, but never a Type R. The Type R is here at our shop. We did some R&D work, making some uh, lips and splitters for the car. So we're gonna 3D scan all the parts soon. Hopefully get that in for you guys. But today I'm gonna do a quick walk around comparison. Cause this is my first time seeing a Type R, but we'll go straight into a Type R, okay? So 2022, 43,000 MSRP. Uh, I believe it's running on 315 horsepower, 310 foot-pounds of torque. So a lot more horsepower than our WX. Our WX comes 271 with like 258 torque. So big difference already. Obviously the price difference is about 43,000, 31,000, about $12,000. So that's a big difference. I mean, obviously our car don't look like this from the factory stock. Uh, his car is not stock either. He's lowered c28s uh, i believe they're 18 by 10s or 18 by nine and a half that you're offset looks similar to our old setup but check out that front grill guys the front end looks ridiculous i love it i love how it's so beefy and wide compared to last year's generation the fka type r in my opinion it looks really sick but this one they feel, i feel like they kind of like redesign it get a more modern look the fender right here looks super wide if you look from my angle i don't know for your angle but it just comes out like i don't know how wide this thing is it looks it looks crazy compared to our elantra it's like a uh, pre uh, plastic surgery <laughs> after plastic surgery it looks super nice i love it it looks great the brand bowls obviously can't complain i think you get a lot for this car to be honest I i'm not gonna drive this car today because it's a customer's car um, i didn't get permission to touch it so um as far as that we have functional vents on the side coming towards the back these side skirts look super good looks similar to what we're gonna make so i don't know gonna make any side skirts for that this wing he has right here looks very similar to our swanek the design on the top super sick i love it i think honda did a really nice design on this the back um similar to the last year's gen the three exhaust tips in the middle i'm curious to see how it sounds like to be honest so the exhaust compared to previous generation um the big ones is in the middle now versus the last ones where the big ones on the outside so you know a little, little, little changes here and there tail lights look amazing we also we also had a 11 gen civic too but it wasn't the si as you know the interior is about the same you got the red, full red interior, sexiest. I ain't gonna complain how they did their flooring red too, you know, not just black flooring. The red flooring, the red seats. The back seats are black. I wish, imagine they did red seats in the back too. That'd be sexy, yeah. But yeah, um, looks really sick. That's the interior. Sorry, you really talk about your Elantra. Poor Elantra. Our Elantra has 276 horsepower and 289 foot pounds of torque, uh, coming in at $34,000 on MSRP, so. A lot cheaper than Type R. Uh, both of these are front-wheel drive. The WX is all-wheel drive. If you were to ask me which one I would get, man, from stock, okay? From stock, as is, it's kind of a hard choice because I'm not a big fan of front-wheel drive, to be honest. This, this is a very biased opinion, you know? But the car looks sexy, but this car from stock looks, I love it. I have no complaints of it. Now our, our WX, obviously, with you know our, our rear big bumper, which we're used to it. It doesn't look bad either. Um, the Elantra, I mean, for the price, like I said, this interior, Technology still blows both of these cars out the window, 100%. Um, front wheel drive though, again. <laughs> Nothing against front wheel drive. I just like front wheel drives. All three cars look pretty amazing. Um, yeah, let me know which one would you pick, you know? Obviously our WX is like 20 grand on top, you know? Could definitely, uh, we could definitely buy a Type R already, plus mods. But uh, you know, probably the car game. Would you get the WX, Type R, or the Elantra? I mean, I wish, you know be sick though, if if the Type R had the WX price with the Elantra technology, Ooh. and all-wheel drive, <laughs> I think it'll sound really good. But yeah, um, we're gonna get this car inside right now. Gonna go get get it up and 3D scan some parts. In front of me is our new grill that's coming out for the VV chassis. Uh, this is similar to the sport grill that's on the market, but a little bit different. I kind of went over this last time, in a couple of videos back. This is an Aeroflow S-Style V1 grill. Uh, it comes in the crystal black silica finish. As you can see, there's holes everywhere that goes through. Unlike the OEM Subaru one, some of them are kind of covered. So for those that have it, you, you know what I'm talking about. For those that don't, Subaru so have some of these holes that are kind of covered here, covered here. So we, we made one that's fully functional, that has all the holes open. And obviously you can see it's an emblem delete, okay? But for those that actually want to represent Subaru and say, hey, I'm driving a Subaru, <laughs> you can, we also include this cover cap as well. Let me show you guys. So pretty much 
you know, if you want to put your logo here, you can put it here. <laughs> if you want to put it here, you can put it here, but obviously you put it in the center, okay? Just like so. So you can tuck it back here, and then the back, we have another bracket here for you guys, just like this. Let me show you guys. You set, you set the bracket up just like that, and then put the screws on it, okay? So I'm not, obviously, I don't like the emblem, in my opinion. I think it's cleaner without the emblem, but if you want an emblem, you can still run it, and then you can put like an overlay on it. So in the hardware, you'll get the grill, the emblem, and you'll get a bag of hardware. So this solution is pretty straightforward, just like any other grill install. You pop up the bumper, which we'll show you guys in a bit. Take off all these screws on the OEM and then pop it in and then use our self-tapping screws. And go bam, 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 bam. So pretty straightforward. I think it looks really nice. Oh, I'm gonna find out. We currently have the OEM grill painted gloss black already, but I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more aggressive. Um, I did say before that the design of the grill actually matches with the fog light area covers on the bumper but you know we we'll change it up and also uh if you do want this color match you can just email us request it and then we can get that done for you too as in the the bottom part we can get this color match. i don't know if you me maybe some people like it some people not but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and uh get this install for you guys right now um yeah let's get started <laughs> the big type r just left we just scanned we 3d scanned a bunch of parts and then for those getting the new type r a lot of parts coming out Check out our Elantra, looking sexy. I actually spent a couple uh, days yesterday with it. I actually launched the car last night, perfect. Like, no bounce, I'm like going pretty crazy, pretty fast, so Elantra is just pretty fun. The more, I, the, more, the more I spend time with the car, I think it's pretty sick. And the best part is, when I back up, the sensors everywhere, which is really nice. You can tell this is kind of more aggressive already, but like I said earlier, this texture right here matches the grill right here, the uh, fog light grill. And because it matches, I kind of like that, but you know, we're gonna change things up. So I'm gonna go ahead, get started. <sighs> you guys see me do this a bajillion times. Now it's gonna be bajillion and one. Step on, pop the hood. All right guys, that was a quick 30 <laughs> second <laughs> removal. 30 second because we don't have anything. Yeah, because we have no clips on the bottom, but you know, we do this so many times, no point putting it back. So. The oh yeah, just a couple of self tapping screws as you can see here. So you gotta press in the tabs and then pull out. This should be okay. You can use a hand or you can use a screwdriver. It's all the same, no preference. And just like that, your stock grill comes out. Um, if anyone wanna buy this, or anyone want, I'm gonna keep it actually, I'm gonna keep it. Sorry a bit, $5,000, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna leave this to the side, just in case if I wanna go back, cause you know, we like swapping back, non-stop. <laughs> but anyways, get your new grill. The fitment is perfect, cause we 3D scan everything, and we take time and precision to making these parts for you guys. So just like that, simply slide it in, clips in on the top. Yep, okay guys, so once you clip the four clips in on the top, to the bottom, we don't use clips, okay? We just use screws just to make your life easier. All right, guys, so for our screws, we use the eight millimeter. So I'm gonna swap it on. And I'm gonna start with the ones on the side. One click, guys, that's all you need, okay? You know, obviously, if you don't have a tool, you can use a screwdriver, but don't over time, okay? I see people love just like working like crazy, you know? Just like that, easy. Boom, just like that, guys. Fitment, 10 out of 10, 100%. You're never gonna run into fitment issues with our, with our parts. All right, guys, the grill, it's pretty insane. Um, we had a sport grill before from Subaru, but had an emblem. So without the emblem, it looks pretty hard because we have a lot of contrast going on, a lot of aggressive stuff on the car. It's pretty sick, not gonna lie. Black, 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 you know, the contrast looks freaking amazing. Let's go ahead and put this mower back and let's see how it looks. There it is, that's the our Aeroflow Sport Grill. I think it looks super aggressive, actually. It looks pretty sick. Not gonna lie, I really like it, I really like it. What do you think, Jerry? Yeah, it, looks, How do you feel? it looks pretty good without the emblem. Yeah, so, with the emblem delete, as you can see, it looks, it's just way cleaner, you know? Just get that clean, sleek look, we need. To, it would be a hand model. Like I said, you can still add the emblem if you want to, but I don't think you guys really need it. But yeah, really quick short install for you guys today. If you're interested, check back on our website. 
I guess the guy's a call asking for update and then we're gonna have hundreds of these coming in stock like hundreds of these coming in in this black finish so yeah thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this short video today make sure you hit that subscribe button we have a lot more parts coming for the bb chassis so oh wait before i sign out car meet guys uh we have a car meet in another meet in march so we'll set a date now let's do it now we will be march 19th okay that's gonna be the date for our socal vb meet number three we might go to san diego cruise there yeah from LA, San Diego, that'd be pretty nice, you know, or we'll see, but it'll be that day. Um, so mark your calendars, guys. March designated camera guy, and oh, I, I show you Jerry <laughs> and his friends. Yeah. We're gonna have a camera car, so it's gonna be super sick. So yeah, come through, guys. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you guys later.